was like fully accident. I can't actually. I don't. I, I don't. Is that not work? <laughs> it could be worse. I don't know how to change it. There we go. <laughs> was it just black? It's a hard job, isn't it? So yeah, it was on the still, but I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know how to do the phase. I, I honestly, because I'm stretching my hand over, I accidentally did that. Kind of sounded oh, like. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I'm lost, sit down now. Last is it, podcast. Is the angle alright? Yeah. Fuck it. That'll do. Um, I, it was just on the still, and I couldn't. I didn't know how to make the fade happen. It yeah. is quite a technical role. After as that, as I just after shitting on your role for months, I fuck it up. Yeah, none of us have done the role apart from blogging, right? Well, um, I learned. I learned it, but I haven't done it since. Oh, okay. I've never even had a go on it. You were my mentor. Well, there's no chance now because it's all fucking over. I know. This this, this is going to be the last podcast ever. Does that mean like we we don't really need a time limit on it or anything? We can say anything and get cancelled. As in like we can just fucking yeah, just cancel. Let's just keep going until we. <laughs> Need the toilet. Yeah. A few days yeah. of straight podcast. Um, apologies if you can hear the heater, but it's absolutely freezing in here and I'm not turning it off. Sub zero. I think the noise gets. Wait. Wait. Uh, I think we're all right. Yeah, we're fine. Um, merch podcast. If you've only just found this podcast, you fucked it because it's over. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it might not be because every single comment is like, don't stop the podcast. So I think we're going to have to have a debate there. We'll figure it out. We have to plan some shit. Everything's so hectic right now. Well, it's not really that hectic, but it's just a lot to think about. So it's been a lot. Yeah, we'd have to we'd have to assess and see. Emotionally draining. Bloggy's being promoted. What the fuck? Where's my mic spinning? Bloggy's I've been been promoted. Bl- Bloggy's been promoted. You know, he actually has a full time job now, rather than. I, th- I mean, I had. A, I thought you meant full time. I mean, thought you meant promoted to sitting in the middle. That I did. Of the yeah, podcast. I'm just making a joke because you guys actually now have proper jobs rather, hey! rather than working for motors. We can yeah. plan for our futures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually know what my bank account looks like. Not mm-hmm. a fucking minus one or oh, hundred thousand. Um, <laughs> do we have, do we have like do you have things you want to want to talk about? Notes and shit. Because I mean, you've done a pretty comprehensive like your own diary. I did entry, the. I did is- the like you know, the proper one mm. to like lay it all out, which a lot of people seem to have liked. Um, if it, anyone watching this knows, listening to this knows, we are closing down the most projects um, as of pretty much immediately, but we're like letting the site run. I mean, it pretty much, everyone fucking bought everything in one night. Yeah, that's- I have something to say about this, right? Stupid. Apologies for the slightly dark tangent. But you know when like somebody commits suicide and then there's the outpouring of love and it's like, oh, but I love that guy. Da, 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 da. And it's oh, like, yeah. maybe if you told that person you love them prior to them killing themselves, they might not have done it. Not that this isn't a direct comparison, <laughs> but the outpouring of love and the amount of money that Moses has just done in sales. Yeah. If, if that was just, you know, spread, yeah. We'd probably be all right. <laughs> but everyone's like, oh shit, now's the last I'd moment. I never thought about it like that, but yeah, mm. it's- now's, now's the last moment to buy a hoodie. I'll do it now. And it's like, oh, well, uh, we've just be- had financial trouble for two years. And yeah. I mean, we're still, it's it's not like- It hasn't fixed it. No, it hasn't fixed it. And it's no. still, it's not changing. The other analogy that I had- Sports Direct, right? No, no, that's one. Mm. It's that effect of like closing down sale apparently just means you Everything just, must go. And everyone goes mental. Uh, for anyone who doesn't live in the UK, we have a store called Sports The Direct that I pretty certain has had a closing down sale on for the last two decades. Like you go yeah. there and it's just in the windows, like closing down and everything's on sale, but it never closes down. Um, no, you know, when you break up with a girl and let's say you break up and you've like been, you know, beefing for a bit and it finally kind of happens and you actually feel quite relieved and quite happy and like looking forward to the future a little bit. And then you're like, okay, we'll go public. We'll like change our Facebook statuses and all this shit. <laughs> that's kind of what we've just done, right? Uh, so we went, I, I, like, or maybe this is how I feel. I feel like I've been in there a- might be people listening in a, in a, you don't have Facebook. Or maybe girlfriends. You've been in quite a toxic relationship, that's what you're saying. Yeah, so let's say I've been in like a toxic relationship for the last couple of years, not really realizing it, but kind of subconsciously knowing there's probably something better out there. But like just being like, I've got, I've got to stay in this, you know, got to stay together. Mm-hmm. Kind of being like that. And then it kind of, we just like, I decided it was going to end and I actually made peace with myself with that. And then it was like, cool, I'm gonna then announce it. Did that. And then, so you, you announce it, and then you and the oh, girlfriend start reminiscing. Yeah. And you start talking about like how, cause right now it's like, well, we've just done quite a lot of revenue. Everyone loves Motus, apparently. It's like, well, and there's that little part of that, like, it's like when you start reminiscing with the girlfriend and it's like, yeah. but why did we break up? And there's always that temptation to get back together and it lasts for like two weeks mm. and then it bubbles up all the, cause that's the thing we yeah. could, you know, it's not like we're going to do an about turn, but we could go, oh, well, we've got all this love. Fuck it. Let's give it another shot. But it's like, no, it, it, 
it wouldn't last. Yeah. So. I think as quick as this decision has all come about, it doesn't mean it's a bad one at all. No. It's a very, very good, good, smart move. Yeah, I mean, I do feel bad, like, there's been... I mean, for clarity, for context, this decision has literally happened within from like initial discussions to happening and announcing and getting everything kind of in the works within a couple of weeks uh, for a number of reasons. One, because like on the star end, it's good if we can get working with them soon. For us, we currently don't have outstanding like uh, orders with factories. We... Um, I mean, that's a big one. We don't have huge amounts of cash tied up in other things that mm. we'd be, because if we had loads of trousers coming in or something like that, we'd be like, well, we've yeah. got this stock coming in. We've just got samples, which is kind of the We've best, got samples, which is case. fine. Yeah. Um, we're all in like quite a good place with regards to, we're all committed to motors, but the team is kind of, as I've said in the other video, like has always been quite fragmented recently. So it kind of just felt right. And I can't, oh, the, what, so what I was feeling bad with is like, we've been selling gift cards, for example, for, you know, leading up to Christmas and things like this. So now it's like, oh shit. So there's there's some things that in hindsight, I should have had the, the, the foresight to think about because you don't want to screw people over. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just kind of the way it's gone. I, I, in some ways, it's like you look at Edra Fort's closing down, which obviously we spoke about in the last podcast. And when we recorded that, none of this was organized. Yeah, like, that's, uh, how recently that's how fucking recently this is. God. But they've obviously like given it up enough time to wrap those things up really neatly. And ours is a bit more messy. So yes. Yeah. And formally, on paper, the company won't shut down for a little while because there's a load of, you know, back end financial accountancy, blah, 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 all those things. But this place, in terms of us trading, it's we're going to basically shut things off early January. Um, but yeah, so UE. UE Boom. <laughs> what? UE, UE Boom? <laughs> that was a good speaker, wasn't it? It was. Um, I, I Go and watch the video that I did if you want to see it because I kind of lay it all out. But. That should definitely be watched first. Mm. Yeah, we we approached. Well, I approached Star. You we'll listened to. We listened to. Yeah, this car. Actually, how it all came about. I mean, it's pretty much maybe worth talk, touching on like broadly because mm. it's actually quite strange, really. Isn't oh, it's it? really fucking weird. Yeah, because Keelan had found out that they had started outsourcing their their video editing, right? And therefore, you got in contact and then started doing some of that. Yeah, it was only because Sam um, Southers, who anyone knows Southers, he got contacted by Sasha and Sam is a freelance video editor and doesn't, he just didn't have the time. So I was like, ah, oh, fuck it, like a bit of extra cash. Like, I'll contact Sasha and just see if they need some help. Yeah. But I didn't like, not, I mean, in, that, not in any sort of like- And that, even when you started doing that, that wasn't even a factor of like, oh fuck, that's gonna sway things. It no. was more like, oh sick, Keelan's gonna actually have some extra money. Yeah, yeah. part-timer. Um, it, was, it was, as I say in the other video, like Stara posted that thing and I was in a bad mood. And then I got into a slightly more level-headed mood. And the, the, the exact realization I had was that, there is a good, good chance that Motors won't be around in one to two years time simply because it's fucking tough. It's, it's been tough for years, you know, at some stage, unless something got picked up, like unless we the, the biggest thing is if we somehow stumbled across a shitload of money, which it doesn't happen, or, you know, there's a very, very few little variables that could have happened that would have like saved the company. And if those things hadn't happened, it would have been kind of a constant struggle. But then also, we were, and also trying to, like keep that going but i yeah, feel like there yeah, could yeah, yeah. have been loads of money that came in or something did get picked up or, or blows up like clothing wise but then I, I i don't know how just us three i mean we might have but it would still be very fucking hard to maintain that yeah yeah and it might get back down yeah if that makes sense i mean it's, it's and it's granted it's the same for any business like yeah. you can have a business like star are, are doing very well but you know in a few years time it all could change mm. but it's like it just i had to look at it and be like the chances of motors being alive and healthy in one to two years time are pretty low. The chances of Star and not being unhealthy, like being healthy, are very high. I personally think I was probably one of the best candidates in the world for that job, given sort of my experience with Parkour, my experience with Star and my knowledge of like e-com stuff. Granted, I'm not a fucking, you know, multi-million pound e-com business guy. Mm. But, and you, it, but you've been doing the job they want yeah. for the past however fucking long. And like, bloggy as a fucking sportswear designer who just has the like you basically just need the potential to kind of well you, you need that like that backing to rise because the, the other thing that i was mm. have it's always popped into my head over the last few months when we've been sampling it's like great we're sampling this stuff it's looking sick but when the factory says cool like we get that sample to a finished stage and yeah. it's like cool time to place an order and the factory's like cool 20 grand here's the invoice i'll be like um how do we find that? And then you've got to scrape money together. I'll probably put more personal money in, like shit gets tough, which this is all happened with the trousers and then they turn up and it all falls apart. And mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, 
like it's, it's it yeah definitely i'm just so fucking excited that like now essentially your shit can be brought to market at scale in a sort of like a good time if you yeah. know what i mean like obviously none of this stuff is quick with your stuff but it's like because we were talking about how we might have to you know release one product that you've just let's say you've done a t-shirt a hoodie trousers and yeah, shorts yeah. it's like well we might only have the money to do one hoodie mm -hmm. and it's shit like that and it's just like yeah and it doesn't it actually kind of doesn't do it justice really whereas mm. uh, almost luckily as well like when because drew came recently to have a look around drew yeah. jazz and um i was showing because i realized drew hadn't actually seen any of the stuff i've been working on yeah yeah and uh I think it's quite lucky actually because I think we saw quite eye to eye on a lot of the choices and things and how it works, which is quite good because we don't have to change too much as well. So we've got a bit of a, yeah. a kind of a, a ready rollout from what I've been working on here essentially. Yeah, hopefully. like, um, And then from you, it's like you've been wanting to get more into filmmaking and things. And it's mm. obviously editing story videos isn't like the pinnacle of cinematography. No, but it gives me like... I know how much time it takes to edit those videos and then I have time to like exactly. work on it gives you the consistent shit. income it gives you like more contacts mm. more it's it's reliable it, I and think not, and I don't need to decide like the hardest bit about with Motus was like trying to make sure videos kept coming out so I had to think about that too but now they just do the videos yeah 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 and I get to edit them so we'll, we'll go on to like some questions that people had we, we'll do like we've got questions on Instagram but obviously a big one has been like well why can't the YouTube continue and mm. i think the harsh reality is it was pretty much just either me or keelan like pushing it all the time predominantly i mean keelan. it was that for fucking years for so long since think since covid it. yeah and like people are like well why can't there still be training vlogs and it's like well if keelan's working full-time for stora i mean i don't like i'm not gonna lie i don't i don't enjoy editing training vlogs i like training and stuff yeah yeah it's like in my own time i, I don't think i'd be doing that especially with, like with the limited time i have and like not to be harsh to the sort of other motors athletes, but there were just ample opportunities for some of them to, you know, if they wanted to create a video and provide it for motors, they could have done so. And in the last couple of years, the amount of times that happened is less than five. Mm. Like the amount it, that somebody's gone like, oh, I've been working on this. And it's just, that's the reason it's like, well, and, and I don't train as much as I would like to, like we're, we're all busy doing the things that we essentially enjoy doing, but we all love training. Yeah. Mm. The, the big question is like, well, let's say we do go out and we start having a really good session. And I personally think that now that I'll have a lot less spread responsibilities and a slightly more narrow focus on Star stuff, I'll probably go back into enjoying filmmaking more, which is really exciting. Mm. And then I'm like, well, where am I going to put something if I make a video? But I think that's just a bridge I'll have to cross yeah, when it exactly. comes to it. But it's going back to that like girlfriend analogy, it's like, keeping the the youtube channel going from a training perspective is like that thing where you're like oh let's just be friends and you mm. try and you really fucking try and in the end it fizzles out and it doesn't work and like it's so, i mean this is from personal experience i've never fucking maintained a friendship with a girlfriend after you've had a breakup mm -hmm. like you try for a bit and then it's just like nah mm -hmm. so uh, i think that's that's the way i see it mm -hmm. we are going to put soul hazel hazel's going out tonight no, and Soul Destroyer. You spoke to Ethan and Noah then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, on YouTube. I'm slightly worried that this is really blowy. I mean, I, I can hear your voice pretty clearly. I can just hear like a tsh -tsh -tsh when I speak. <coughs> I, don't know. I don't know. Sorry if it sounds like shit. Um, the one thing that obviously people do want to continue is the podcast. And I think that we're just going to have to speak to Star and have a thing. Because... I do enjoy doing it. I like speaking, especially over the top of you two. Mm, yeah. Um, we I have. You need to infiltrate Callum's one. That's what everyone's saying. We should give him yeah. food poisoning, and then you can do it when he's ill. Yeah. yeah. I didn't say that. That's actually awful. Sorry, I've, I've, I've already cities, said right? it. I said it on the other video, and it turned out Callum does listen to. The yeah, team. no, I saw that comment. Yeah, he knows the plan. Yeah, we listened to that on the on the drive back because we went to view a property yesterday, and that was <sighs> already so looking at flats. Mental. Yeah. So yeah. these two will be moving down to Brighton or nearby. Mm. Or as soon as possible, soon as yeah. Possible. Have to figure that out over Christmas, which is very hard. Yeah, there's a lot of a yeah. lot of things to navigate. Exactly. Uh, I think another like undeniable thing is that, like, it is there is a huge amount. It, well, not a huge amount, but there's a there's a factor in there that is the financial response uh, reliability. Like for me, or security is what I'm looking for. Mm. I have, like, I've got a fucking kid. Sarah works her ass off to basically keep our family going. I bring home a minimal amount every single month because I don't want to try and 
pull too much out of the business and it sucks and it's caused so much like shit in our relationship and she's so fucking amazing for it uh and you guys have basically been paid whatever the company can afford which has always been a fucking not huge amount and it never has felt good and there's been times where it's like oh can i pay you half now and like half in a bit and shit like this and it, like it doesn't feel fucking great it never fucking it's not you know it's not like we're making loads of money and i'm like oh if i pay the guys a little bit less then i can you know get a bigger bonus at christmas yeah, it's, it's just the like he still it survives while yeah. yeah 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 and, and now it's like we can all, I mean, by all means, not fucking relax. It's not like Star bought us no. out for millions or anything, like anything like that. We haven't been bought out to, to like, some people thought we'd been like acquired. We, we're shutting the company down. Like, it's like, we will be moving into full-time roles. Mm. Um, but this is another opportunity that we can focus on and not have to worry about that back of the mind. Can I buy food? Yeah. yeah like the, is... in the last year, like you and me, have, like you've been obviously fucking hammering the Depop and things like that. And there's questions about that. So I'm sure we can answer that. But like we've been talking about like, is there film work we could do and i've always had these kind of conversations do i get a job in tesco do i get a job in a pub etc mm. etc et i feel like if that if it came down to it and you did that it would put it in perspective for people on the outside yeah yeah, yeah, like, yeah. oh okay i actually understand that yeah because mm. we chat about it all the time but i don't think people really realize yeah how especially i mean it's it, if you think about the workshop and what we have it definitely looks crazier than yeah, because I think it needs to be. You, you, and also we live like, you know, we couldn't get something like this down in Brighton. Stora can't get something like this down in Brighton. Yeah. So it's not like we're fucking balling. That's not like why we got. Yeah, we live the, the area we're in, although expensive, sort of actual home property. Although nothing compared to Brighton, the, yeah. the off, office you can get office space for fairly cheap, mm. and this place is a fucking steal as well. Yeah. Uh, I'll be sad to not be here anymore because this mm. place is yeah. sick. Like it's undeniably sick. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, should we do some questions? Yeah, yeah let's do it. Up. Yeah, this, this, have you got your phone? Yeah. Me? Yeah. Oh, so, I mean, just... Oh, so we can all like look... Well, uh, yeah. just, it's better than like, you know, me doing, being the fucking question master. Or Am I allowed to look at them now? Yeah, I just said to Boggy, don't look through them yet. So Obviously, we... some of these won't be relevant to me because of my time on, but some will. Oh, wait, can I just find one that I think is the funniest fucking thing? And I reckon it's like European... Um, uh, what do they call it? Like that European, like honesty, you know, when you meet European guys, <laughs> yeah. the mildly savage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And there's a, there's another podcast I listen to where they talk about this, and they're like, it was this about a music podcast, and they'll come off and be like, hey man, I love, I like, amazing show. I don't like your shoes, and it's like, <laughs> what? So this this uh, this this one is, um, do any of you have a backup plan for when this current move fails? Right. Not, wow. not if the current move fails, just, just when, when. just words. when, you know? Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> no, no. Right, right now I'm not planning on having a backup plan. I didn't like, have a backup plan here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't, and that was the th like not that I don't think I should have had one, but that was the scariest thing. And I talk about it in that other video. Mm. It's like I got, I used to get really. F there were fucking times that I would come into this office and sit on that sofa and not talk to you guys, and then just get up and leave and drive home. Yep. I mean, this is like a year ago. I remember that. Or you'd yeah, look at the train station and you'd be like. Mm. I used to no, and this, yeah, I've probably said this to you, not publicly. And uh, maybe on the oh, when Chris Grant was here. Yeah, you did. That was There's a, a fucking train track over there. I used to genuinely just be like, I could just go and jump in front of a train because I don't know where this is going to. Like, sorry if this is a trigger warning, uh, but um, that's how fucking dark it's been. It's like trying to keep this fucking thing alive, and now it's like that, that's why in that video I said this is such a weight off my shoulders because we're all getting to do what we want to do and like carry it on, mm. but not have that responsibility of the whole thing failing. Yeah. It's, it's, I'm so yeah. fucking thankful slash happy slash relieved. Like, yeah, it's really cool. But yeah, so do, do we have a backup plan? You can obviously kind of port your things. Uh, but it's not a cool one, but it's, it's moved back home with my parents, which um, I love them, but I don't, I just, it just doesn't, it's not. I mean, I guess, yeah, I have right. the same thing. Yeah, like, but then, and then essentially just like, try and get a job in industry like yeah as a i don't know yeah you could do that you i could do but that. i'd say that's that's essentially like a an obvious roadmap for all of us but True. i wouldn't say any of us are laying out plans well i think the difference of is that bloggy's skills can quite quickly be transferable yeah i mean yeah. i guess with film like because it's, it's mainly freelance based isn't it so you gotta mm. acquire that work differently yeah. but yeah. with with mine it's a bit more like i could just work for this company <laughs> and i suppose you could also, i don't do that yeah i could, you could I do could, the yeah. same but it's, it's not like but what i mean i, I is don't think it'd be a backup plan in the sense that you would go off and work for another company 
It's also not in that's parkour. My phone. And that's the main yeah, thing. Yeah, so you would go off and work for another company that isn't parkour and you don't like. Yeah. But I think in your head you'd be like, right, well, I need to do that for a bit until I find something I do enjoy again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't think you've got a proper backup plan of like, did I press record? What? <laughs> oh, let me just check. The light's flashing. Is it? Oh, okay. We'll probably find it. Oh, I did, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that is recording. Why did you have that sudden panic? I don't know. Oh, I left the tap on, sort of thought. Okay, we're good. Oh, yeah. I left the kettle on. Um, I left the heater on. Um, yeah, shit. I think th for me, it's like I don't consider those things plans. They're more just like, you know, you can think of yeah, a scenario. Pl like a, okay, yeah. a, plan a plan would be unfolds. like, I'm building a safety net of cash so that I can, <laughs> you know, so yes. that I can jump into this other thing. That's like, a good idea. I just find it hard for me to find another job like this where I where it have like set editing to do. Yeah, yeah. You know, rather than freelance, which is so different. I'm just excited. Like, I'm fucking so excited to dive, jump into this story stuff because the conversations that we've had with them, I can just mm. see the potential to like to improve things and to change not not change things like, you know, make it my way. But like, I think I, maybe there'll be questions about this. But something that I just really, really realised is like because we didn't have that YouTube growth and the like sort of other things that maybe Stora had where my focus had to go over the last couple of years was like treating motors very much like a econ brand so i learned a lot of those skills which is where stora haven't put as much focus and mm. now that they want to put more focus into clothing that's where I basically that role then applies to me because i'm just i have that skill set and that knowledge so it's mm. fucking really exciting um do you, want to, you found one uh, uh i mean favorite inside joke is a favorite inside joke yeah. i guess between the three of us us property Do kids <laughs> yeah, lost property kid. Can't that's very it. much an inside one. That's yeah. Um, or that, just that the, was, that the was very quick. I even forgot about yeah. that. The meal names like Eshcon Guelosh. Yeah, you got oh, some yeah. funky Hell shit. Healthy skies. Healthy skies. These, are all, <laughs> yeah, these like, are all meals. What that is we cloudy have. skies? I d well, I've forgotten, but I know that Esh Eshcon Guelosh. Is it Eshcon Guelosh? Eshcon Guelosh is. Oh. Esh Eshcon. Eshcon it's meant Guelosh. to sound quite Welsh. Yeah. Um, but that is it's elite. That started happening in the first office when me and Bloggy were basically the landlord in no when me and Blo i know it doesn't matter for him but in the last office when me and bloggy were kind of living there yeah um mm. we were having these like meals that were just fucking cheap huel and like bits and bobs it was basically just tapas wasn't it yeah and we were like oh we'll call it Ashcon yeah it was, it was like, like it's like oven bake bread hummus bit of couscous like a scoop of like the food huel and maybe some leaves yeah yeah, yeah. Or like from outside yeah. yeah off the trees and anything reduced yeah like over time i would just be you know driving these guys home uh were depending on where they were staying at that time and it was like when you were doing soul as well and like max mm. and sam and things were here yeah they were and you'd all that. be like oh what should we have dinner cloudy skies oh. it's not, and you'd all say it with these like these yeah. these accents and i'd be like what the fuck are you them. eating yeah. there was a few <laughs> of them when we did remember it as well it was quite easy because then if we didn't have the ingredients it's like you'd say that name and then we'd all go to the shop afterwards and with the little money we had we'd just yeah. <laughs> you know get get what we need what um, um what was that fucking train station that you started saying for ages, like a Welsh train station? That's where go, that go, came go. from. It, that's where it came from. Yeah. I can play it through this. It's like, oh, oh, God. God. Go, 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 go. It's like the longest train station name in... And there was a bit of it that you guys wouldn't Mona. stop. Yeah, it was that oh, shit. Yeah. Mona. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mona. Uh, you know. What about like pre-office days, inside jokes? I don't really know. A lot of that stuff just went on YouTube, to be honest. Like a lot you know there's f hilarious shit that george would say and it'll probably end up in a video and it would be about liking milfs or something oh god didn't <laughs> during soul you guys have the yeah john that was a thing oh, no, yeah, that yeah, comes yeah, from a, that was a team training video that ethan really? ethan and noah put up oh, some, some, they don't know him do they some guy like walks through the training area and they're like hey john and he's like hey guys and then he like comes back again and like i think tries to do a bit parkour maybe and, and they're, they're like, like yeah, yeah, john. John. yeah yeah john and then when we spoke to ethan we were like oh who is that guy and they're like we don't know <laughs> <laughs> he's not good john <laughs> so all yeah. right amazing i don't think of any other inside jokes oh my god there's so know. many questions there's definitely a lot that hasn't been captured that i wish that I could just pay someone 20 quid to make into like a documentary just for us, which yeah. is like yeah. the living in the first workshop to coming here and living here and then living with Giles's <laughs> dad in your granny's My granny's house. house. So we were living in Giles's granny's house with Four Giles's of us dad. in a room. Four at the top, like the top floor, yeah. which was amazing. Tetris bed. It was so fun. So that was me, Max, Bloggy and Sam. It never and then felt, when yeah. we had guests over, that'd be five or six people in that top room. Yeah, it never felt right. 
Like the only reason that these guys weren't that like, wasn't my a lot is because of Daisy. Yeah, yeah. It just we should be like, no, 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 no. It's boarding school. It's I'm great. Glad, I'm glad that we had that instead of staying at yours because it just gave us a bit of like. Oh, true. Yeah. Like, we would have pissed you off a lot. If it, it was, was like, just the like of us. the the. It, it, that was where I'd get really like dark. Is like it wasn't just like oh I think I'm not doing well with this business. It was like well the evidence is there because I'm not earning money and I've got guys four in a room sleeping on mattresses on a floor in my <laughs> dead granny's house with my dad like but the, and it was like so many pros that have come from that yeah yeah, like yeah. A, uh, bonuses like we've we've become really good friends of your dad yeah which Legend. is really nice <laughs> yeah, yeah oh my mum did comment really? she fucking sent in a message where is it why did you never tell them how great your mum is who am i telling you your mum yeah we well, you know that why did we why did you I, never I, tell I'm assuming why did Motus never tell them, maybe the audience, how good my how great my mum is? I don't know. I mean, George has got <laughs> George has got stuff to say about my mum. Mm. Um, I mean, a great your example of your mum is is before saying hello, it might be like psilocybin. Have you heard of it? Yeah, you know, which yeah. is fantastic. Last few conversations she's had with you have been predominantly about psychedelics. Yeah, we were going to go picking, but we haven't. <laughs> <laughs> That's there you go. Funny. That's the glimpse you get into that my mum. Uh, I've just seen a couple of questions about um, the film festival, so I just need to clarify that that will be wrapped up kind of like imminently and as as per normal. It's just behind because, yeah, we're all slow. Um, come on, you guys pull some, pull some shit. Ooh. <laughs> Mark says, does this mean I can make that Motus logo public now? Yeah, if he wants. Is that the one that he worked on a while ago? The yeah. spiky one. The spiky one. Yeah, because people probably don't know about that today. No. Did we ever talk about that? I don't think so. Because there was a point where, for some reason, we decided we didn't like the Icon logo anymore. And we just went through this whole period where we were trying to do a massive switch up yeah. with everything and just like rebrand. Yeah, this was in, like in early, a, early work, the first early office. first workshop I think. days and just rebrand the aesthetic of the whole company. And, and I think that was quite needed because we came to a conclusion that we actually fucking really liked the yeah, icon logo. Yeah, because was it the Patreon that I saw it, maybe? The Patreon think some, that Basically, saw it, yeah. some people saw it and were like, nah. They're like, like that, but do not change the logo. I love the logo kind yeah. of thing. And that also made me like the logo. And we've also ha we've had that logo since the start, so. Yeah, I've got a fucking tattoo. A lot of people yeah. do, actually. Yeah. We'll probably yeah, sorry sorry well. if you got that shit tattooed. Um, Makes it better. Got a good one here. <laughs> Potentially, yeah. yeah. What, the limb one? Yeah. Yeah? Didn't uh, see what it said, but yeah. What are you looking forward to? Where will you work from? And how are you feeling? I'm going to work on Lynn's sofa with her cat. Oh, that Be sounds good. Begrudgingly, because I don't like cats, but I do like her cat. Her cat's great. You're going to uh, work on Lynn's sofa? Well, she lives in Brighton, so. Yeah. What, instead of in- I'm joking, obviously, yeah. but yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to actually just being around like a lot of people who train and actually being able to be like, let's go training and just being in that like hub of parkour. Yeah. Mm. Like Brighton's sick anyway. Um, yeah, I'm excited for like the the peer pressure to go training when I should be working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or do you, well, not, not when I should be working, but I, I am definitely guilty of like working for the sake of working. Mm. Like oh, sitting yeah. on my you, laptop. You'll go home, like Giles will go home and then- Just tinker. After, yeah, exactly. Just like, literally We've already tinker. done a full day in here and your kind of procrastination would be tinker working. And sometimes tinkering. you have like brainwaves and you'd make some amazing yeah. discovery improvement like on the website or blah, 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 blah. But a lot of the time it's pointless. And I'm quite excited for, you know, well, somebody to be like mini spots around the corner. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And you'll be going out, not because a video needs to come out as well. Just because that's not your training. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So I'm excited for that as well. That's gonna be good. And I'm excited just to work, as I said. Mm. Um, be around like all the stars for you as well because like yeah yeah years ago you used to be around them a lot Mate, I, and obviously I, since Motus you can't really be out that much I mentioned shit. it on I think one of the first videos I ever put on that other channel like I have definitely actively or subconsciously uh, there's a level of activeness but also I think a level of like subconsciousness distance myself from people like Stora because of the like almost that you don't want to be next to that comparison. Like I didn't want that comparison of like, oh, they're doing so well and Motus is struggling right in front of me because I thought it would make me more depressed. And then in turn, anytime I have been down there, it actually does the opposite. And it's yeah. like, makes you feel like more at ease and inspired and mm -hmm. things. But my head's done some fucked up shit in the past, like about just how I am with other people and public mm -hmm. situations. Like, I guess it's anxiety and shit. Yeah. Like it helps, but it definitely helps being around people more often frequently yeah because it's those patches when you don't see anyone for like a long time it's or it's so just, easy or to even get. like i don't know 
it's just us three and maybe us two aren't in as much or something mm. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Really it feels nice for a little bit because you're like, oh, alone time. But then yeah. after a while it creeps yeah. in. The scary start. The scariest. And outside the office is a spot, like a sick spot. Yeah. yeah. Side note. Did you see, do you know where the no, but office is? You know the white wall spot that's like water fountains and stuff? Kind of. We drove like past trees it. And stuff. And on the way out, you're like, oh, there's Astro that spot. Turf around spot. it. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like next to it. Isn't the roof of that also a spot? Is that the roof cap spot? Oh, yeah. Oh, is that the one that... The scary. Did Joe do the... Yeah, yeah that's there. Uh, Mental. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, so for context, Star are getting like a small office, just like c- predominantly like computers and things. Um, but yeah, that'd uh, be good. And then maybe scale up eventually, but yeah, I don't think it'll be... Even though it'll be in... A lot of words I want to sing. Even though it'll be in Brighton, I don't think it'll be like a public space by no, any yeah. means, because it's small. <laughs> there's, there's, There are a lot of comments about... Um, the athletes, like what's happening with the athletes? Are they going to be sponsored by Stora? Are they, mm-hmm. you know, are they still going to be making videos, etc., etc., etc.? I mean, I know my answer to that, but I think, like, I, well, firstly, no, they're not going to be sponsored by Stora. There's been absolutely no discussion of that. Um, they were all obviously told prior to like the public announcement and have all been fucking thankful and supportive and everything and, and like really fucking nice messages. It has felt like obviously not great from from the perspective of essentially shutting things down because it does feel like you're kind of just letting them like, like oh, because there have been times in the past where I have been like, guys, we can like, you know, build this into something where you guys can all be paid and things. Granted, I haven't said that for years now to the athletes because like that wasn't the reality. But back at the start, I sold you guys a dream and then that dream hasn't turned out. Um, the people I film worst for are like, uh, uh, predominantly Jordan because he was the guy who wanted to give the most really really did mm-hmm. like people like George and Travis are it's a it's sad because they are they've done loads for the brand in the last couple of years and but they're also killing it in their own right and then I look at like you know people like Rachel and Camilla they're doing so fucking well like the athletes who are still really pushing parkour seem to have all found their feet and been really independent which has mm-hmm. made that decision far easier like if somebody was in the lurch I'm really trying to help Motus and just like, then I'd feel bad if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Like you guys, like as I said on the other video, if Stara had said, oh Giles, we want you, but fuck off blogging and Keelan, I would have been like, no, I can't do it. Mm. Because I can't fucking, yeah. Yeah. Um, It feels pretty weird though as well. Like especially when we did the messages into the group chat. This pretty sounds like I'm crying from (laughs) two (laughs) minutes. Yeah, just because like we're all three of us going to be moving on to Stora. Yeah. And it's like easy for, in my head, it's like, oh, it's easy for us to do that. But like they don't have, the athletes don't have the choice. But I know it's not like and that. And the emotions. But yeah. in, in my head now and then I'm like, oh, I just like, it feels really Yeah, there's there's definitely. Bad. But like, yeah, the past the past few years, it it wouldn't have changed in Motus. You know, it was uh, here or not for the athletes, unfortunately. Like, it yeah. sounds really bad, but. Pre, Pre-COVID, like, you know, uh, 2019, mm. when things still kind of felt in a lot better place, if this had happened, it wouldn't have been oh no that one yeah. possible and two wouldn't have felt right. Everything yeah. like there was still very much that like that that dream of kind of taking things to the next level. Mm. It's really been the last three years where it's just been like, but like you said, yeah, those last three years, people have kind of found their own footing and yeah, where exactly. they want to be, you know. Um, what, what and and no one else apart from the three guys in this room were like benefiting financially from Motus in like a sort of formal manner. If anything, I feel more bad for like, not that, no, this that makes it sound mean. Not that I don't feel bad for the athletes, but like mm-hmm. Chappie, for example, who's been writing our blogs. Mm, yeah. He fucking killed it. For a mm. year, he wrote a blog every single week. And I briefly, when we were down at Drew's the other day, mentioned him and like kind of said like, oh, maybe Star will be interested in that in the future. And like, you know, Drew didn't shut it down, but the conversation hasn't gone any further than that. So I can't make promises to Chappie. Yeah. But he's a fucking talented writer who's done amazing, like engaging in-depth pieces, given loads of spotlights to other athletes and stuff like that. And he's given a lot to Motors in the last year. And we tried to pay him a little bit here and there, but money was so fucking tight. And it's kind of hard to quantify like who reads a blog post and then makes a purchase and things like this. But I, I feel bad for him because mm. he was giving a lot, but I'm really hoping that he can either like turn his writing into something else or we can maybe, and this is a complete maybe to mm. both Stora, list, Stora members and also Chappie. I mean, I've spoken to Chappie probably about this, but maybe there's something in there in the future. Yeah. Mm. Um, it's true. Obviously there's also like the cl- 
collaborations that we were all planning and we notified all of them prior to making it public mm. and the, the, I did see a question actually like oh, are we going to port across the collab idea to Stora and I think that's still very much up in the air yeah I think there's interest yeah uh, it's not been shut down in any way but it definitely needs to be fit it yeah needs to fit. and I think something to make very clear is like it's not like Stora are like taking Motus and saying like, oh, we want what you're doing. It's, we are being employed to work on Stora. Whether or not in six months time, they're like, oh, we want to have more releases and we like the idea of collaborations. Then it's like, oh, we could maybe yeah, do this. But it's not like they're saying, okay, bring what you're doing, the collaborations, blah, 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 and just put it into Stora. So yeah, things like that are, are, are yeah. by all means not there. Because I mean, we're essentially waiting on a, a kind of a formal document from from Drew about kind of what he's expecting from us a bit more in depth. And then, well, I think on also just we'll the, the direction, idea. like we exactly, had some, like what what kind of th what it needs to look like. Had some fucking amazing talks just about so exciting, though. yeah, fucking really out. fucking exciting about just where we think we can all take things. Mm. Did you already read out that does it <laughs> does this is this going to change your guys' mindset somehow? Did you read that one in, about parkour or just in general? You just said is this whole switch up going to? He says, does this going to change your guys' mindset? Which I don't really know what does what like the, I know this whole this whole shift like mo motors shutting down us working for Stora. I feel more energized and more excited and I, I and, and thankful and like I I suppose it's hard for us to answer that yeah. right now. I, I think I, I could know. predict everyone's like yeah. mindset changing like you you've already said about parkour. I feel like your mindset towards that will change and filming your mindset yeah, towards yeah. work. You know, and just maybe like living in general, because like a lot of the time, or rather than dying, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, dying in general, yeah. But we don't have the same. I mean, I'm sure it will still happen, but you know, when me and Bloggy go back home after working here, we're still trying to like we're brainstorming yeah. motor ideas. Mm. To the now point that it hurts. It's just like I want to turn. I want to switch off <laughs> and just sleep. And and you know, I think we're basically saying like that it's it's the the pressures are different. Mm. And we will we will put in a lot of fucking work into well, this. Well, essentially, there's a, there's a bigger team. There's a bigger team, and there's a bigger working uh, yeah. machine. We're essentially just channeling the stuff that we're essentially better at working on. Mm. When we don't like, I will no longer have to be stressed about. I mean, for one, doing the orders and like stock counts and the, yeah. I mean, obviously, this. I mean, we're going to be managing the back end of the 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 clothing stuff so there will be you know there's, there's going to be a lot of those aspects to think about but it's there's just it's a it's a as you said it's a big machine that's that's the best way mm. to describe it and yeah i think i'm in terms of mindset just excited and the last like 24 hours has been like fucking thankful and just like crazy kind of like wow yeah that like you i don't know it's it's like i said earlier about the whole like you know somebody commits suicide and then all mm. the outpouring of love comes out it's like it's so fucking nice to hear that you did actually have an impact for sure and like you know secret not secretly but you you have an idea mm -hmm. but it's like fucking cool to be like wow like it's really fucking cool it was definitely really like kicking in when me and bloggy were driving back from our viewing yesterday yeah i think because we were listening to your yeah um what so we were listening to it as a podcast you leave me and then you carry on listening to my voice yeah <laughs> <laughs> but it was uh yeah we were just had to well i think we paused it at one point well yeah we? we're like oh it's all a bit real now yeah yeah all, yeah because yeah. everything's changing it's yeah. just been so fucking quick it's really. been really quick and mm. like obviously for me i've not been involved in motors that long but it's still it's i've still kind of plunged fully deep into it and and absorbed it into like yeah my you life, joined at one of the most hectic times <laughs> you joined it like so a, much was happening yeah yeah you joined at a big changing moment in the first place and not necessarily good moment uh, sort of just financially and then it got worse because of the trouser fuck up which mm. you, you basically joined just as that all kicked yeah. off but I, I mean I, I as I said like I committed <coughs> for those that three year block yeah and then review after that and, and also you, but you it's not like you you know joined and you were in on Monday and nine till five and then you left on Friday it's mm. like you have lived it I've but lived and breathed this constantly. literally for the last year and a bit like yeah so it's like it's you've probably done more time in the brand and involved in the brand in like a headspace thing than some of the athletes you've been on for years because some of them maybe. are just like oh i'm an athlete and i train and make videos yeah maybe, maybe so but i mean this is what actually going back to what we were talking about earlier when when um when i kind of briefly reached out to drew independently because mm. we spoke 
you're like, oh, are you gonna apply? And I, I was thinking about it. Uh, and I originally was like, oh, maybe I could do a part-time thing similar to Keelan and that could work out well. And then I had a call and then it was, how do you feel about working full-time and moving to Brighton? And I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Okay, I don't know what to do now because I didn't know that any of this was in talk. So I was like, fuck, well, obviously I give a, I give a lot of shit about this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I don't really want to just be like, yeah, bye. Cause that's kind of a shitty thing to do. Yeah. And, you know, you guys are sick. So then that was a bit scary but actually quite, but I had to really think carefully about how I'd answer it because I didn't want to close to, to that clarify, door as well. So what happened is I reached out to Drew. We had this like hypothetical conversation. They sat on that for a little while. They then came back to me, had a long phone call with Jazz and things like this. In that time, Bloggy had basically approached Drew to say like, maybe I could help you guys part time. And they called him immediately after having like almost a, not a confirmation call, but like a, the last conversation I needed to have to them. Cause what I didn't want to do is I didn't want these guys finding out that I was having these talks straight away in case it gave the impression that I was kind of like selling them up the river or whatever the term is, mm -hmm. or, or like showing that I didn't have any more faith in Motus. I yeah. didn't want you guys being like, oh fuck, he's, he's gonna give it up. Uh, obviously it's not like that hasn't been a topic, but mm -hmm. uh, so I just kept it to myself for a few days or the best part of a week. And then Vloggy had this call where he didn't know that all this was going on. So they were like, how do you feel about coming down full time? And he was like, oh, I can't, I can't do it. And then that day I come <laughs> in, I come in and I'm like, well, this thing is on the table. And you're like, ah. Oh. But I had, to, I had to make sure that I didn't like fuck it on that end yeah. as well. So I had to like really carefully like answer in quite a vague, but like they said afterwards, they said they were like, we felt so bad talking to Vloggy because he just didn't know. Yeah. Do you think they knew that? <laughs> Did they know that I didn't know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck's sake. Cause I was literally talking to Jazz and she was like, I'm calling Vloggy next. And she was like, but he doesn't, I was like, yeah, he doesn't know yet. And she was like, okay, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, so wow. Funny. Um, are you guys getting paid by Stora? Yes. I mean, they are offering us yeah. positions and, and that's- We're moving, I was like another question. We're moving <laughs> and you're commuting. I'll commute, probably do like a couple of days down there a week. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. We might, you know, it's a long way off, but like if we if we were to move house, we might move more in that direction. But I mean, that's, yeah. Also, the worst part about working with stars. I was gonna say oh, that from one. Drew, from yeah. Drew. We should try and see if we can, and obviously we don't know Can we think of yet. some major like actual, negatives? No, like some actual negatives. Oh, I've, okay. Um, I, mean, I want to know if there's any that, not like, cause I don't think there's gonna be anything that fucking sucks. I just wonder if there's anything that's not going to. I think there's there's the potential when working for any employer mm. um, as an employee that you know you could have a creative. I, I, at the end of the day, they as Stora will have the final say on things, so we could get mm. excited about. I get too emotionally invested and in yeah, it, like you know, it, it, we're all creative, and it could be like oh, I fucking like this, and like I, you know, maybe I'm like oh, I know this works from a a marketing perspective or yeah. something, and they're like, mm. nah, that's not how we're going to do it, and it's like yeah. there could always be things like that. Yeah. I mean, I think the blessing and the curse perhaps is because there's such a, a large and tight unit that that means that when things go in the right direction then you've got such a, a power force moving forwards with an idea but then also if there's confliction of opinion about things then maybe that slows that process down because we've got an efficient you know oh, there's I three know of us who goes three of yeah us. yeah oh okay yeah, yeah. whereas it's nine that's bigger and yeah i mean what's going to be interesting is like i mean i've well, we've all known them for years, but I've obviously worked with them quite a lot in the past on the roof culture and other things. And yeah, like, of course. they definitely used to be a lot more just like a, what's the term? Like carefree and like throw it into the wind or whatever. Like with regards to just how they operate, they'd leave a lot of stuff up to just like, ah, fuck it kind of thing. And I think that's a huge testament to mm -hmm. why they've got to where they are. Mm -hmm. But I think now they have become, especially with jazz is involved. Like you see the efficiency in decision-making and like, the planet because it's a, it's just a much bigger thing there and they do have to be more like you know with some decisions more sensible whether it's that that's to do with you know permissions on something like yeah. what they're putting on youtube or money or whatever like it's it's a completely different thing to how it was when they were all teenagers for sure um but they obviously can be pretty fucking wild people so like i mean i i like it's fairly obvious uh, uh, known that like there were times on roof culture I fucking hated it not because of them as individuals but because it was so stressful and my anxiety was just like at an all-time high and you know some of those guys understood how I was feeling a bit more than others and there were times where I was just like fuck like I don't know like Max just doesn't fucking get it like and it would you know it gets in your fucking head yeah um but no it's, it's so f it's sick <laughs> worst worst part are there any fucking bad things I don't know I 
It's hard to know. There's a lot of in jokes for Stora. There's a lot of in jokes, and there's really? a lot of like you know they'll you'll get a fucking nickname that's three tangents down. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? I got called Blogosphere in my email. I used to be called I don't Juice. Know if that's stick. Juice, Juice box. Apparently, Juice the first box. time I ever met them, I asked them what their favorite juice was. <laughs> like, this is pre Stora days. I think it was yeah, Benj. I like said like, yeah, I don't know. Like, oh, what's your favourite juice or something? And they so, do give a lot of nicknames, don't they? Yeah. They've given me a few and I can't remember any. And sometimes you start being like, fuck, is it actually because, you know, I'm <laughs> I'm, <a weirdo. laughs> I'm sticky or I'm squeezed. Nah, like, just... juice box. Juice box. Yeah. <laughs> Shit like that. You know, I've like been called Bloggo. Bloggo. Yeah, I said I think so having a nickname to start with helps. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Blogster. Hi, I'm David. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not good. Not David. Dave. I'm that's, Dave. That's so much worse. Davey. Yeah. Davey. 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 I'm Dave. Benj, why not continue the podcast? You tell me, boss, because you're off my fucking boss now. Mm. Mm. Um, I mean, I gladly will continue it if we can, or as we said, infiltrate the Star podcast. Maybe we'll just build out our podcast setup at the Star office, and then on Tuesdays, Callum can do his thing and be all formal and talk about knee pain, and we can go on on Fridays and talk about poo. And maybe we'll find... <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like Maybe we'll find oh. a balance. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'd love that. Yeah, like we we'll see, but at the end of the day, what we were, have already kind of thought is, look, we've got the gear, and it makes everything sound good, and we've got the cameras and we've got the setup. So it's like if we're gonna, I, I would like to sort of give this to Stora so to utilize on theirs. But if there is the opportunity to continue our podcast, I'm not going to complain. That's the only bit in, in the relationship dynamic of, you know, if the YouTube channel is like trying to still be friends, the podcast is like just, I don't know, wanking over memories. Uh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> may, may, uh, may, wow, that is such a curveball. I was trying to, I was thinking about it like being like a favorite restaurant that you go to. Oh, that's, that's very weird. PC. No, but I mean, just how is that the same as wanking over a memory of something versus like, uh, we used to go on kids' dates to this coffee shop? Well, I'm talking about something that happens repetitively. The I go to coffee a lot. <laughs> anyway, I off go topic. to coffee. Um, what's happening with the Depop? Yeah, I'm literally looking at that one. Um, so Ollie, basically, listen, um, big ol', big ol'. Uh, I'm gonna probably change the Depop temporarily to something like the, because I'm, I'm basically interested in pushing by Bloggy, which is like my own personal branding things. And there will probably be a clearance sale on that as well of motor stuff. Yeah, I reckon once yeah. we've shifted, to done all the orders and things, there'll probably be like, a, oh shit, we've actually got quite a lot of stuff. Yeah. And then it will go on the Depop. And those will be, like more more one of one stuff. I mean, we've got hats that we never released. Like, yeah, you know, we've got we've some got Gary Corduroy hats and they look pear. Yeah, we've got I might some actually cool keep stuff. Myself, to be honest. But um, yeah, it's there's gonna be a, a load of stuff put on that. I don't know when and I don't know time frames for that. That might even be something that happens in like February, unfortunately, just because there's so much to do. Yeah, I think once we hit January, things will, I mean, we're gonna, well, I say even if it's not we, because you guys are gonna be sort of, maybe depending on when you move down, but We'll yeah, get. if anyone wants to help us move in, yeah. that'd be great. Got any spare hands? Anyone got a we'll fan? Oh yeah, for um, a for a party. But we'll, like, else. we'll get all the orders washing done. Washing machine, need a washing machine if we can. Yeah, get anyone it. got a free one? In, in the Brighton <laughs> area, and then so, yeah, there'll be a load of shit to like clear. Yeah. Um, you got any questions, Ken? No, no. I don't well, they're, they're in front of you. <laughs> I do have questions. Um, I don't know. Uh, what one do I want? Yeah, it says, what, uh, I, didn't, I don't know how to answer this. So maybe we'll uh, ask this. What was it like to live your dream? As if like... You See, that's from the same guy that said, what are you going to do when you fail? Really? <laughs> <laughs> what was it like to live your maybe dream? Maybe he just went like, I'm going to ask questions from the e each end of like the deep spectrum. I mean, I f still feel like this is just pushing the barrier on my dream. Yeah. yeah it makes it seem like you've woken up. But I, uh, I know Marx has always said like, most helped him achieve a lot of his dreams. That's really cool because he's now moved into like a really good place in his life where he just loves coaching. And mm. he he basically like was talking to me the other day about how he's, well, he's he's publicly said he's kind of retiring from like being a parkour athlete. Mm. And he was like, it's kind of good in a way that I'd already like put parkour to bed for himself before motors because he was on from day one. Mm. Um, live my dream. Yeah, I think it's just con like I think it, just constantly try and do what you enjoy. Mm. Really. I mean, when I was younger, my dream would, I don't know, uh, all, all that I had in my head was like, be able to continue doing parkour and not have a normal job. I think that's all I thought. Yeah, I think and it doesn't feel like now I'm living, but th that's that's always the case. You know, like you go to the, 
to the future mm. like right now and it feels kind of normal but like whenever i think about me as a kid i probably would be losing my shit yeah yeah but um we were saying this in the car yeah fucking hell yeah definitely yeah yeah i you remember know? when you guys first met Starro in that nando's around the corner from imax or was it chris brooks i remember yeah you guys being yeah, there. yeah i was obsessed with chris yeah i found him hilarious like i the way i look at it is uh, yeah less of like oh i'm living my dream but more i just try not to settle and stagnate mm. and i think it's like i mean let's say there have been areas in motors that me and the company have stagnated for the last year or so like since like sort of you came on i was looking for somebody to come in and help do orders and mm. then actually we found you and it was like well you're so good at what you do mm. so then like i've handled a lot of the order fulfillment for the last year and there have been times where i'm just like fuck i'm working like a a manual labor job effectively just yeah. doing it and if that feels we like shared it a little bit oh yeah, yeah. No, i'm not saying you didn't do it yeah yeah but there have been times where it's just like you know you slog and you're like mm. this feels like stagnation and it's like it's i wouldn't not actually achieving anything productive. yeah right now i can deal with it because i'm listening to a podcast but if i think about doing this in two years time awful and i think you've got to address those things at some point and try and get past them yeah almost like, set like a time limit for yourself yeah and just be like itch yeah if this is going to go somewhere, we should be able to like get past a, like exactly. just constantly try and improve. I, I think. mean, that's why I set that that three year limit for me because it meant that I could mentally just like shut off and, and be like, I can commit to this. For that yeah, time. yeah. Because then I've I'll, I'll check myself at that point and not lose exactly the you know I won't check yourself. Don't you know yourself. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I think all of our dreams have probably slightly changed as well. And yeah. do, do, oh, we, do any sure. of us have like I I don't know whether I'd. I'd actually have to think about and write down like what's my dream or whatever but we're all through parkour have found things like for example the thing that you're going to be doing for Stora you yeah. actually enjoy doing before and you, could, you wouldn't have known that before no. Motus that you would enjoy that before 2020 I had no idea that I was up until that point I just thought I was bad at business and I, tr I had tried to get better before then mm. but not properly I thought I was bad at business and I didn't really understand like marketing all the back end of like an econ business mm. and it took addressing because this is the other thing i think sometimes it takes addressing your problem areas to find something that actually you're passionate about yeah and that was a hundred percent for me 100 mm. percent. and then for bloggy as well it's like he's super passionate about clothing yeah you know which can step back and stand on its own for you mm. do you know what i mean even if it's not in Hopefully. parkour Hopefully. like you just going up and making little bags and things like that and like th these creative ideas that just come out of it it's like another avenue apart from just like parkour and i'd say the same for me with like with filming and and that just visual media yeah. i think yeah fuck we need we need to do something with that video that you were working oh. on yeah we'll f we'll, f we'll, we'll figure, figure it out. out it might be quite hard before the new year yeah no i doubt it will i happen, will be bring like i'll bring it home with me but obviously we're all going to go home for Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. He has been, he's, he's just made some magic recently mm. that wasn't meant to be about the end of Motus, but I think we're going to try and turn yeah. it. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. Like really, you'd watch it and be like, what the fuck? Like how did Keelan make this? Especially with the camera that you used as well. It's a fucking good camera. <laughs> yeah. I think I just like figured out. Well, I think any, and not, not any camera can be a good camera, but it's testament to, well, it's, it's testament to what you can do with the camera. Yeah. It's the especially. same way that like Sasha used to film amazing stuff with the RX100. It's, yeah, true. Uh, what program software do you use for editing? Predominantly Premiere Pro, Premier Pro yeah. yeah. I used to use Final Cut for a while, but yeah. Premiere Pro is just better for bigger things in my opinion. Do you feel like the achievements of the brand have been properly recognized in the community? Yeah, the last 24 hours have given me clarity on that. Mm. There have been times where I didn't think, the thing that I'm still, I wish I'd achieved a bit more when I was more filmmaking. And I think I've done it now with a couple of videos, like people remember Resurgence and Soul Destroyer and things. But like, I was always envious of like Toby and Sasha's like repertoire of classics. Like they have some films under their belt that are just unanimously seen around the world as like classic, amazing parkour videos from the last like 20 years. Mm. And I had never really felt like I had one, like I had good videos that had made a good mm, impact. I disagree. But from my from my point of view, maybe not through. I mean, Motus has some. Uh, you know, when you like go into a gym and there's like a playlist of music playing, yeah, and there'll always be like you know music from Chaps on Tour or music from like a Star video mm -hmm. or music from but Resurgence did that. I yeah, think. I think and or Resurgence and Origins, I'd say mainly, but also before then when it was Visive, there was a lot on there that I would like for me anyway. I mean, I didn't, yeah. I didn't know it was you for a long time. True, ago. I just didn't know if I ever got to that level, but that's irrelevant mm -hmm. to this. Um, you got any? Uh, got I mean, any mesh? <laughs> uh, there's one about what mistakes did you make that you would give advice on people to avoid? Uh, like, I saw this. I didn't want to 
do you want to do a couple that are more related to you and then I'll do I just feel like I've been speaking a lot I don't know what no, I mean I can talk about that if you want like none. a mistake I don't really know what, how I could add to that because I've not really given the opportunity what was the question uh, what mistakes what did you I could fuck up make much. that you would give advice to people and avoid so go and watch the first couple of videos I put on the Giles Merch channel because I do go into some of this in depth true, and I would true. like to do something with that channel whether or not I need to speak to the star guys uh, about that but um <sighs> Spending, not not knowing financial literacy before starting a business, uh, spending money in the wrong places when, yeah, I mean, that, that just comes down to fun, financial literacy. Trying to think that by providing sort of opportunities like spitting in the wind and things, you can like win people over, not, not win people over, like we already had committed people to the team, but I just had this like dumb naivety that I thought, oh, if I, do spitting in the wind then those guys are going to commit because that was at the time where a lot of you guys were young and it felt like sometimes you were wanting to do motors and sometimes it was brooming and sometimes it was just like your own youtube channel or whatever and i was like i it was i think once again it's probably that comparison to star being like i know mm. if we take this unit and we solidify that we can go from there mm. and it was always like okay we'll do the america trip and that will like that I mean, it kind get. of worked for me actually, yeah especially yeah. the america trip but it's easier when you're a someone who likes to edit videos yeah because it's easy to just go oh but and i'm so th so i don't think you can not one single thing is going to win somebody over like you've got to build those relationships and and those you got to you got to like collaboratively dream with people to achieve something big rather than just like you can't force your dream on someone else and expect them to follow suit unless yeah um what else once again spending money in the wrong places not being good at like clothing dealing with factory like so many it's like pyramid mm -hmm. isn't it yeah it's the legacy stuff that you kind of want to get yeah to, but you kind of have one you want to do it at the same time and that's those hierarchy and needs but yeah. if you change that i think about business uh and it's it's really easy to focus on the legacy stuff so like you know oh we've got to make this big epic video we've got to do this we've got to do this but if you haven't got that bottom bit which is basically like revenue and sales and profit when it comes to business anyway like you, you, you all that focusing on those things up there if that base isn't set the whole thing will crumble like you mm. have to build from the bottom up um so yeah there's probably other stuff but go go watch the the, the video on Giles Mayos. what was the best moment that the team has had i think there's been a lot i i, I didn't read it properly before i said it but i thought maybe it was more like personally for each three of us maybe the best moment because there's also be favorite favorite motors memory which is kind of the same question. oh that's i think that's more that i wanted to oh yeah, because obviously bloggy hasn't been with us for as long so his will be in a different time yeah period to us yeah i wasn't even gonna answer that because like oh i don't know no i'd want i think yours is one <sighs> of the most interesting one really for me well that's a that's a healthy amount of pressure um <laughs> i i don't I think as a, as a few, I, I'm really bad at that. When people are like, what's your favorite food? I'm like, oh, I can't really give one thing. I, know, I suppose yeah. there are some Take things some that kind of made it sink in, in some senses. Like, I think it was going to an event, like maybe OMG and it just being like, oh, well you're, you're with Motus, so it's it's like fine. Yeah, because yeah. you were like, free. shit, do I need to buy a ticket? And I'm like, no, bloggy, like you're invited as part yeah, of Yeah, right. which is kind of like- I forget how much of a privilege that is. But yeah. It's so it, You get used amazing. to it quite quick, which sounds super horrible, but like once you, been doing that for yeah. a while and you're like oh i can get into this but really it's fucking great it's just, like, yeah that's, yeah yeah it's so amazing that you can do that i think because because of the lateness of i'm uh, not lateness but the time I, I i became part of all this uh there's such a legacy already that i kind of want to uphold and also then my interpretation of that and then also how i would fit into that and i suppose actually a favorite memory is maybe just how how well it fit you know, from like that first night at the at the old workshop when we did that like fake podcast and we had that big meal and got really drunk with you, me and Max. Yeah. And like you just opening your door to me and letting, letting me stay at your house. I think that actually is maybe a core cool memory of just being like, like this is just, this fits and it's the great. The crazy thing yeah. I remember, like I always think about. I just turned up and I was like, hi. But the thing I think about quite often, just every so often, is mainly when Daisy's here, is it's like you, 
I mean, Daisy was probably a couple of months old. Like, when did you start coming? September, October. I started when she was like maybe a week or two old or something like that. I think really? that was well, that. No, I think that was when you came for that initial. Okay, yeah. So I wait. Yeah. She but like, was, she was already born. When no, you she started. wasn't born oh. when I first first came. Really? Yeah. She, you were talking about it like, oh, if I've got a boy, because you didn't know if it was a boy or a girl. No, we would have known then because that was months earlier. We were oh, on that. Well, the heat okay. just turned off and it made such a difference in my ears. Yeah. Basically, um, the first time I came when I got you picked me up from Etchingham. Yeah, yeah. Like. I don't think she was born. Yeah, I can't remember. But basically, I just remember like being in the living room with this tiny newborn, like having, and you were sleeping at my house, having conversations with you, like trying to stop her crying because she was yeah. tiny. And like, just, yeah. And you've now like, and now she's obviously running around. So this is weird, like uh, comparison of like how quickly she's grown up. And then also like how you've seen it from fucking day one. Yeah. All the way through. Like, it's crazy. Mm, that's so true. What about you, favorite? It's, I mean, the first US tour is probably still one of the best things yeah. I've ever done in Same. my whole life. Yeah, That was, uh, like, I don't even know if there's any way I could go in, into depth with that, but I'm so glad that we captured all of it and it's in a series rather than one film. Yeah. Glad we decided to do that as well. And not only the tour, probably the time afterwards that we spent editing it, yeah. it was the first time me and you have edited together. Yeah. And that was during summer, so like, sweaty it was just i think it made it good though that yeah, like yeah, yeah. compared to doing that in winter it would have felt a bit depressing maybe yeah but, you know drinking a lot of brew dogs drinking a lot of beer me getting paid definitely too much because you just in flung like some cash i yeah, think because really? like, i don't know where that it, cash i hadn't from. i wasn't working for you being so too generous that would be another mistake not yeah. that like it, it's that's a, such a toss-up because generosity is such a good thing mm. but i think it's so easy to be like like, yeah. oh, I'll pay you this just to kind of, and it's, I think, unfortunately, in early days of business, you have to be quiet. For sure. But that was before, like, I would even thought about, I suppose, what I've been doing. For yeah, that. It yeah. was just like, I'll, I'll do this and you're covering, because otherwise I have to pay for food and shit. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. But that that's probably the biggest and probably will be the biggest thing f for probably my whole life. But other than that, I, I feel like the past few years when we've had the workshops, like the first one and this one, have also been collectively it's been so many one amazing thing. times it it kind of for me is nearly on the level of the us yeah tour. so mine are like i think uh like origins there were times on that that felt amazing yeah origins was just because it so felt like we were doing something really special um and then the next so obviously there were times in between us tour things like that but then yeah the us uh, the UK tour, US tour was, there's so many moments. There's one that's like watching Robbie see the shooting stars. Yeah. Like the, the, just the absolute like unfiltered awe on his face. I remember just like some, it's, it's in my fucking brain as like a, like that kind of thing. Cause it was like, yeah, I don't know. That was yeah. sick. Um, that, that's definitely so sick that you've, you know, Motus isn't going to carry on, but something that you've achieved is like bringing us all on that tour. Yeah. Because I would have never done that. Yeah. Like the amount of people's lives, without fucking sounding cringy, but like everyone who went on that tour, their lives changed because of that, mm. which is really sick. And you so probably shouldn't have done it, but I'm so, so glad yeah, you did. It's like no, no regrets, of course. Yeah. No regret, no, ra no regrets. Regrets. <laughs> regrets. Um, mm. Amazing times on Soul Destroyer. Yeah. Uh, moving into the first office when Jordan was there and like you guys dancing up like there was so much yeah. weird shit that happened in that time for sure moving in here eating pizza and like sitting in there surrounded by yeah Just there's boxes, boxes. Yeah. there's so <laughs> much so fucking mm -hmm. much so the, la the last workshop had so many like really good weird like walks we did as well like, yeah. because we were right next to Bedgebury pretty much yeah and just stupid Gettin trying to dodge the uh, the, the, the fa farmers the, yeah the, 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 keep, Grounds the groundskeeper yeah. or whatever we weren't really meant to go and explore but we did it all the time literally hiding from the quad bike man in that tree just like <laughs> we'd actually do that though like because it was such a long like weird track and we'd go off walking and things in the summer and then you'd hear his quad bike come round and we'd all have to like kind of hide behind yeah, the yeah yeah is that light still on we're we still good I don't know no, it's all yeah. good okay I've got a question here unless you've no, I've I've got one, but do yours. I'm just going to check the like okay. hard drive recording um, time limit thing. It's basically, will we only be involved with the clothing side of Stora? Um, ah, interesting. I suppose we've only spoken to them about being involved in that, mm. and and that's that's technically. I think it depends how we evolve um, 
working with Drew and, and Jazz mostly. Yeah. Um, there like are main like contacts said, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, like they've said as well, a lot of these things I think we've just got to figure out yeah, there's what gonna be work because we all know the type of roles we're going to be filling, but then like, yeah. I don't know, down the line, and, and might, also might be doing other things for them as well. And, and the aim is to, to grow that side of the store of business and things. So like, mm. you know, I, I mean, we, I don't, it's scary because you don't want to say anything one on behalf of store and you also don't want to like get anyone excited about things that won't happen. But like, let's just say if store held a pop-up shop, mm. it's like, you know, I could imagine that we'd be in there helping run that thing and shit like yeah. that. Yeah. But I think for the most part that, it's it's we're not something going to start cropping up in every fucking story video. It's not like we're star members or anything mm. like this. Like we are going in. Well, I've got the pressure of doing every video now. Yeah, I think it's quite much. nice not actually having to. Do that, that's that actually been a bit scary. Yeah, it's like can't but, fuck up now. Yeah, All of our workflows like, are so it, different. It would be fine. You've proved your you've proved it, your worth. It'd be fine. There. But that's like I'm doing the end product that makes them the money. True. True. Yeah. I've got a. I'm doing that. Yeah. But it's not as complicated as, as it sounds. It's fucking you. I mean, it's not like you've got a, you know. Dev- they're doing the most important bit, which is the filming bit. And yeah, getting all and being them. It's, yeah, it's yeah. not like you've got to work with dog shit. Like, I just have to shape it, which is why it's, it's not like, like there's a some, nice like, job. Hmm. You imagine if, what was that like girl band that like Sam was editing for or whatever, and they were like vlogs. Uh, yeah, exactly. Can you imagine oh. that? Like somebody that you don't, just a random client and they're like, oh, can you just edit our vlogs? And imagine if the content is shit. I know. <laughs> also, like, I've watched loads of story videos. So I, I kind of have a, a gist in yeah. my head of yeah. where how their videos meant to look. Yeah. yeah. I think last night we were briefly yeah. speaking about like, cause we've had some cool plans for just videos anyway. And we're probably yeah. just gonna do them just for fun. Not even like make them a video thing, mm. but tell them about it and then they might see something with it. Yeah, but, exactly. Um, there's more brains up, now. It's up to them really. Us here, so yeah, have yeah. ideas. Um, there's an interesting one, which is why does a brand like Star do so well when Motus doesn't? Uh, I think there's a number of factors. Uh, yeah, there's no, there's no one single factor really. Like there's stuff that's happened in the past sort of for both for both companies. Like it's because it's not just like, oh, well, Star have 8 million subscribers. It's like, well, they they got there uh, i think one thing that is probably fairly apparent is that like obviously youtube money can be pretty good and it also is like um it's compounding so they could have made a video a year ago that's still essentially paying out if it has another kind of like viral boom and things like this when you're solely operating as a clothing brand your your cash your reliance on like cash and good cash flow practice has to be a lot lot stricter and that's how we've been. And because of like past mistakes where I would have spent too much money and issues with the factory, like we have been at mercy of bad cash flow issues. And also like Star have had, they did the six underground film. So they've they've had some amazing opportunities that have basically really, really helped. If we're just talking like from a business perspective and less so like, you know, why was Star more successful on YouTube compared to Motors? There's so many factors there as well, but from like a, they had a lot of commercial opportunities that Motors simply just wasn't one trying to even get and two focused on. And I think also like Stara were seven guys who all lived very close to each other around the same age. Motus mm. was it's a, a different dynamic. Completely. It's a completely mm, different yeah. dynamic. And we've gone into this loads of times and it's yeah. like, we, we, we've tried and tried and tried. And there's a reason why like fat have been, a, <laughs> been, been able to be quite strong because they are all close to each other. Like, mm. and, and yeah. Um, so yeah, it's just, there's, there's so many factors really. For sure. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense for us. Yeah. Mm. All right, go on. Let's whack some more questions. Any chance you stick it with a podcast? <laughs> How are you going to be involved with Stora? We've already covered that. Favorite clothing release ever. Um, from a product perspective, as much as they were over over engineered and uh, way the pricing was fucked, <laughs> in the sense that I didn't know how to price product and they were way too expensive to make the ATO stuff. Was the most oh, yeah, the cool. most cohesive i laid that out on like my cart and rail in my old living room and looked at it and i was like every single product has like cohesive elements whether it's like you know mesh on the jackets or whatever and like branding details and the lookbook came together really nicely and yeah I, I like and that was like so much effort went into those jackets and things like it was so like you know taping them and sending the tape jackets to the, the factory being like okay this is the shape of the panel and shit like this from a impact perspective Soul Destroyer. There's a few few elements of the Soul Destroyer clothing that like didn't feel like they quite matched up, but we did some fucking cool stuff with that. What about you? 
I guess I you're, yours is more an outside perspective, isn't it? So. I, I just fucking loved the Voxel tee and the twill training trousers. True, also at yeah. the time I wore that fit of clothing. Yeah, I as, wouldn't as wear pieces, anymore. they were pretty iconic. Yeah, I bought like four pairs of them. I bought like, oh, yeah. fuck fig t-shirt. Yeah. Something about it. We, just, we've had some amazing yeah. stuff in the last couple of years, like in-house things as well. Like I, I personally just love the fact that we've been able to collaborate with so many people. I really like Charlie's stuff that we've just done, the Fallen stuff. Spiffy yeah. obviously is a fucking genius. Uh, Jake like the Get Lost stuff as well um, yeah what about you I, I think Soul Destroyer probably yeah. that, that that and apart from the trousers obviously was shit like, I still wear the straight legs now mm. and then one of my favourite pairs of trousers I mean, camo cargo trousers as well they they did very well oh actually when, when we first did the um, there was a sample of a black pair of camos yeah which we didn't actually do in the end that the color was slightly different. Yeah, of that fit. Made. That um, why it was like black camo. Yeah, with the same kind of baggy of fit. Than yeah, like it's camo. exactly the same trousers, oh, but it was mate. like. But I had a very big. I would have worn and those. It was only one of one. Yeah, and I wore it to Airwhip, I think, and they were really nice. I really, really liked those. Yeah, quite sad they didn't get made, but. Yeah. Did, you get, um, did you lose them? No, they're still here. I think somewhere. But. They're, they're not like black, but they they were a darker version of that fabric. Oh, because we had that jacket that was also a darker. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the factory then just sent a completely different style, and you're like, oh, thank you. Yeah. Nice. Um, that was nice. Do you guys think you rushed the clothing line and didn't focus enough on YouTube and exposure? Uh, that's a hard one because, like, I think it comes from a YouTube perspective because that's kind of under my control. Um, it depends how you want your brand to be like as if, like image wise or whatever or, or just what how you enjoy i putting content out in that way because it definitely started to work doing weekly videos in the same style as like maybe star do and us guys got got out yeah and we could see the engagement was going up and maybe like over a long period of time that would have helped but i think but if, i don't if, think that's something that i would have been able to keep up forever but if you look back to the start of most let's say six seven years ago not even star was doing weekly videos then so it wasn't like yeah we knew that we should be focusing more on youtube like youtube was just like drop cool bangers which was like what we were doing with origins and things mm. and like star would do you know chaps on tour and things like this um grant they they then dialed in the weekly stuff i mean that's obviously been a massive factor in their success but also mm. it's I mean, some of their most viral videos were like the POVs and things mm. like that, which weren't, obviously they were part of the weekly thing. Um, I think I wouldn't have got the growth that I did with Motus in the early days when it was like predominantly just me if I hadn't have gone in hard with the clothing. Mm. Cause at the time there weren't, oh, that, yeah. there weren't that many brands, yeah, I mean, but if I'd just been like, oh, here's a t-shirt, but it was like here are four factory made garments that are like yeah. bespoke and then followed that up with like And more. very different as well. It felt so premium and so like, how do I get this? Because yeah, the, that had so much hype before it was anything was ever released, didn't you? Mm, I mean, I yeah. a photo of Sasha wearing like the community's key t shirt on a roof, and I was like, that's fucking sick. Yeah. Mm. Oh, my headphones are going to be Mine aren't. Sorry if anyone's hearing that. Right. Mine? mine are better than yours. Why was transparency such a central pillar of Motors? See, I don't know if somebody's like read that somewhere. I don't know if we've got that thing but i think i've always tried for that to be the case and i think yeah I think that's been vocalized i think that's just because i think i believe in it i think it's far better to fucking communicate whether it's good things or bad things than like you know be the edgy brand that doesn't it like some some brands do it really well where they just aesthetic just vibe mm. but i think even more and more a lot of, like if you think about some of our favorite inspirations like the, the cole buxton documentary for mm. example mm very fucking high-end premium brand but those two documentaries show the darker sides of them and like all the fuck ups and all of this and it's like the transparency there i don't really care for the clothing i can't afford it and it's all quite fancy but the doc the documentaries are like that makes me really fucking respect the brand and yeah. the people behind it mm. and i've just i think i've just known that yeah i've just yeah. known that for ages it's like you connect through the story and it shouldn't be a fucking fake story yeah because that people see through that shit like imagine if we had from you know the day one of getting the office just only ever made it look like we were just rolling in it and it was like a uh, swanky office. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's living a lie as well, which is also just not good. It's not you're, you're masking to the point that no one knows what you're really doing. Yeah. I think yeah. it's just not very representative. Sorry. Nice. I saw a tweet the other day that was um, <laughs> people who don't find farts funny 
just simply live a worse life than people who do because you still do the same amount of farts you just have less fun in your life <laughs> oh no yeah. i still find them great yeah always uh will motors ever return not in its current form so I, I'll, I'll vocalize like who's ringing you oh, is it your mummy oh mummy no that sounds <laughs> yeah really we'll get her on there <laughs> get her on the thing mm. motors will not return as a clothing line etc to be honest i really don't know when it comes to the officialness of when you shut down the business what you can do with regards to like if it, if it ever was to come back the only way i could ever see it come back is if i used the sort of the name the brand the ip to there's there's something i want to do which would be purely like just just purely video based and community driven and a much much smaller more passion fueled thing and nothing to do with anything that we've been doing really uh and it's the only thing in my head that i'm like oh maybe in a couple of years time once things are settled down then like if i wanted to i could still do it so i'm not gonna you know if somebody was like oh can i have motors i'd be like fuck off no um but that's that's completely up in the air so yeah. what's happening to the workshop do you read that one earlier no but we're basically it's getting fucking gutted we're gonna fucking just demolish it wrecking ball <laughs> no but like we need to sell shit don't we? yeah I, I, I was oh, oh yeah fuck and um, there's a lot of holes in these walls. Do we have are. to sell everything individually ourselves then? It, oh yeah. Like, do we have to list every item like online? And no, 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 yeah. no. Or does someone do that? Like, do we just give it to a job lot auctionary thing? No, it's not even like that has to happen. How do you, how do you get rid of it? Well, I mean, yes. Without that being a stupid question. Like, well, you can well I mean, yeah, it. a lot of the shit, if, we're, if, if, if you're not taking it and if Star isn't taking it, then I guess I will have to fucking put it on Facebook and things. Yeah. It's not like I can that's get something That's going to take a long time. Yeah. Because there's actually a lot we're not going to yeah. bring. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking that. That's going to be the most tedious. And my house is already very full. different thing. I mean, a separate listing. Buy, yeah. I've got so many books. Anyone want to buy any rack? Don't get rid of the books. No, I'm not them. fucking. I'm taking. No, no, no. They're mine. Yeah. I'm taking them. I just got to find a place. Mezzanine. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff to get rid of. Um, but like, you know, camp. We're still keeping the camera and God, cameras and stuff like that. It's so. actually scary thinking about how much stuff there is to go through. Yeah. Mm. Even on the mez, there's just like. I don't know how we're going to start working for Stara in January. Well, they they said the, that month is just getting logistics, but we yeah. only have that month. <laughs> it's yeah. like not very long. It'll so be fine. Figure that It'll out. be fine. Shit's meant to be stressful. <laughs> It's true, it's part of the fun adversity. Um, what's the next big thing I wanted to achieve with Motors? The big London project, which you can go and watch my other videos and talk about that. I don't think that's going to go anywhere now, but to be honest, I am fine with that. If Stora keeps growing, do you think they'll be able to fund the community via sponsoring events and athletes, or is that amount of money still a long ways off for them? I think it totally depends on what they want to do. Um, like, I mean, sponsoring a, an event you know that could be some paying 500 quid to help out so it's not like it, yeah. it, it like that that you know that could be possible but it, it's it's putting i think the big thing that's so easy to fall into the trap of when you run a brand is putting money in places that actually makes a difference and hopefully makes a return because it's so easy to just spunk money up the wall and be like oh we've done this because it you know it people liked it and it helped the community and it's like well did it actually progress anything other than people just kind of going yeah oh, thank you that was fun yeah yeah which is important and it's important and it, like yeah. it, it's there's just a balance to be achieved and you've got to be smart because otherwise you can run things into the ground yeah um oh i'm gonna i'm gonna just refresh this thing because i bet there's more okay i'll do the yeah. same on my computer oh, computer my pocket little, computer my little f uh slate <laughs> how will keelan use his quality as an athlete in star since nobody will become one of them Oh. oh, in terms of like, so because we're not becoming stars, how will you use your quality as an athlete? I'll just train more. I don't. Yeah. I, I, won't, <laughs> I won't use it for them. I'll just do it when I want to do it. Yeah. And I'll probably use the pro dad to film it if I want to film it, which is I'm super excited about. Um, hopefully I'll still train. Will everything restock oh. before we shut down? No, if it's out of stock, it's not coming back in stock. Uh, do you regret anything? Everything. I think yeah, because like I, I hate those people like oh, I don't regret anything. It's like well, I feel like you're just not you're not. It's a bit of a naive statement to make. I think you can. I feel like just regret is a weird is a weird word though. As in like, I'm trying to think of like, like there well, are well, things. No, give it. Give me an example and then. Um, 
So I'm not saying I don't have any regrets, but there's nothing in my mind that I'd think like, oh fuck, I really wish I didn't do that. But I also, there's, I think, I think there's not so much anymore that keeps me up at night. In terms, like I don't have any of those, you know, like I can't sleep, I'm so embarrassed I did this. Mm. There's a lot of things, especially when Motors was like, we were still going with it, that I would look back on and be like, fuck, if I hadn't have done that, we would be in a better place. Yeah. So there's a lot of like, yeah, money spent in the wrong places, but it's also now that I have this transitional thing in my head of like, well, now I, the best way to look at regrets is that they exist, but you have to learn from them. Mm. Like you have to use them as lessons. But I think that's to say- That's why I find the word really weird though, because do you still regret them? Well, there's a Daniel Pink book that I haven't actually mm. read. It's just here called The Power of Regret. And, and from my understanding, the book is basically exploring that concept mm. of like, you can't deny that regret doesn't exist because you, you have those thoughts. Like mm. you will have thoughts of like, uh, like, that's annoying. Oh yeah, so it's like you definitely have the thought of wishing they didn't, that didn't happen. But you, but you, if you, you have to take that and learn from that. Yeah. If you don't, then you're repeating kind of history, and that's mm. bad. Mm. Yeah. Um, but I don't think, it, in terms of motus, I can't. Th maybe my brain's just shit, but I can't really think of personally for me anything that I regret. The only thing on my mind right now is I wish I'd never crashed my car because that's just a ball ache. Oh. Yeah, so that I would that's say- like, That's kind of the only thing. Yeah, I'd say that that's- motor I, I haven't really, no, it's not, not, not motor yeah. at all. But I'd I say that's mean, a regret. And like, I don't know, I, I regret- been put in a position like you. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like I, I regret not telling the guys to, uh, you know, take their bags with them or hide their bags when we, when everyone got their shit robbed in San Francisco. Yeah. Like that's yeah. something that I could think of and be like, oh fuck, I wish I, like it's, I wish I had done something you, as an alternative. You also regret um, not saying goodbye to the postman. No, not the postman. Oh, no, I do oh, regret that. <laughs> and we've got to say goodbye to Alan. Alan. Yes. Alan. 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 Yeah, he works at the self-checkout. Yeah, same reason, fucking gangster. He is Such so lovely. Yeah. I might just occasionally pop back to stay with us just to, like, just to see him. With yeah. Daisy. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, will will you do one last team action edit? Uh, I, that, that's the hard thing as well because it's like, do do I do we want to go through no. fucking loads of footage? We we briefly a... spoke about like, do we do a big montage and just the time frame doesn't work out and it would only be for the sake of reminiscing. And I think if people want to reminisce, they can go and do that themselves. Yeah, there's, there's so many videos online. It's all, it's all there. They're, they're like, stay online there as probably well. will yeah. be a thing that comes out on YouTube anyway, but it won't be an action edit. I, I like, you know, if we had loads of money and time, like in, in, in Etra 4, if we'd been like, we're going to start that in six months time, I would definitely be like, we should do one, but it's just not the way it's going to be. Um, and like Soul Destroyer and Soul are going live on YouTube in the next week or so. And they will be a really nice, like, here's some cool shit that not everyone has seen. Although Soul Destroyer is age restricted because I uploaded it the other day and it got flagged. I don't know why, but so it's 18 plus. They're probably- Most accounts. There's, there's like- I think maybe- Max's knee smash swearing. Yeah. Like owl drinking as well. Yeah. Alcohol. Oh, I'm gonna re once it's on YouTube, I'm gonna rewatch it again. Yeah. Like I can it's see very... why it's been age restricted because there's a fair bit of like, you know, Shit like that in it. Yeah. That's a lewd thing. Yeah. <laughs> if you had one meaningful sentence to to your past selves founding TMP, what would it be? Like, I, if you could say one thing to yourself, go on. So let's say before you join Mohus, what would be your one meaningful thing for you? Um, Wait, what? I don't get it. What's one sentence you would say to yourself? So you go back in time and like before pre mo before, before Mohus. I don't know whether that's when you were young or like when you started being serious or. Um, I wouldn't even say necessarily as a warning of like, oh, don't do this, no. but just as a- If you just could tell, fuck, I'm scared about this though. Cause what about if that like changes time? You fuck <laughs> it up, create a wormhole. Mine would be read profit first. Read yeah. That, that is a book that has kept Motus. Motus would have died two years ago if I hadn't read that book, I think. Just from a, a cash perspective, that book changed how I think about money management for a business. So if anyone hasn't read it, that which will be a lot of people, it's just a very, very simple way to structure like money and bank accounts that has meant that I, it helped me so much when it came to having enough cash to pay overheads when those overheads might not crop up for a month or two and things like that. Um, very boring, but definitely one of the most, <laughs> definitely one of the most like uh, impactful books ever. Mm. And it is literally just like, don't be an idiot. Do this with your money instead. Mm, yeah. And the title obviously sounds really like 
make profit capitalism yeah. okay. but it's just a way of money management I, I think I'd actually not sounds bad but I probably just wouldn't say anything but I'd yeah. definitely still go back in time and maybe just like for three days just watch my younger self because I, I do remember how obsessed I was with parkour and I still love it but not as obsessed as how I was back then yeah and I think that would be really good for me now to see that like it'd be like oh that's sick because like yeah, yeah where I am now is really really great so yeah probably that yeah, to be fair what age are we talking actually it's just random well for you I'd say like oh yeah for a year and a half different. yeah okay yeah. <laughs> like well, you or you're on the train to etching him to meet me for the first time nah What's oh oh yeah! Did you get trained the first time? Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. And then the next and then and then future future you with completely different haircut uh -huh. and yeah. like all of that sits down. Like Wait, is that the time? So me on the train before before yeah. me, before that but like the talks are already happening. I already know things. Ah, fuck. Okay, give me. You know you, what I mean. Before you get. Uh, I don't think I'd anything. say anything because uh, you just you just walk past with your broken I, knuckle and your different hair and you'd be like, oh god. I think as as. <laughs> so this sounds. I think this could come across bad, but I think if I told myself before I'd begun to become invested in things, uh, I think the reality of it would be a bit scary. Yeah. And I think I only c could commit once I was like, I'm fine with this and I'm willing for Future this. you walks past and goes, get used to buying discounted food. I did that all the time. Anyway. <laughs> oh mate, uh, uni and life. Yeah, ready for me. About for that, six anyway. p.m. Sainsbury's yellow labels. That's where yeah. you're looking. <laughs> like, My eyes are just darting for that. No, I think I wouldn't say anything because it. There's nothing I regret regarding the choices I made. Arguably, it, I mean, in a in a savage way, it could be like oh, I'll actually just apply to Star instead. Mm, true. Because I think I. I remember the first time I met Drew. Uh, briefly, there was a talk where he was just a bit like ah fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but then actually, you know. We're leading to this point now, and I'm. I think I would prefer how this is because in that scenario, I would. I would probably <laughs> have to freelance it, live in Brighton, and kind of work on my own. And I think that would be way scarier, mm. to be honest. Yeah. Um, whereas this setup is is kind of nice, and arguably this has also been like a, a, an entrance to to a warm up, yeah, a warm up in a way because because. Uh, it meant that, I mean, you gave me pretty much free reign over to what to design yeah. and um, didn't have any backlash because nothing really got released yeah. in some ways, which makes it sound like, well, somebody, doing somebody this just whole said, time? somebody said, will we ever see Bloggy's Motors work, i.e. the stuff you've been designing? Um, um, I mean, I could take some pictures of it and stuff. But. Yeah, I mean, yes, I think so, because there's also another question, is anything confirmed in the works? That is disgusting. Like, imagine that was your hand. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think they've got things planned coming out and I'm going to help them with that as well. Yeah. Um, and that'll come out quick. But uh, the stuff I've been working on that I showed Drew, he seemed interested in. So it would pretty much just be like a, an applying the appropriate tweaks and branding. But the core things that I've been doing about like the actual function of the clothing, I think. Yeah, I, I reckon from a lot of the stuff you've done that sort of we'll see huge elements of that transition across. Yeah, hopefully. And even if the stuff, not everything doesn't, I think one thing that me and Keelan have been saying is you should be more as you want to be. We're like building a bit of a personal brand for yourself. Yeah. I mean, there's the Sharing backpack right there. That's the factory sample from the one yeah. I designed. My stomach has just gone. If you want to see it. some stuff, go on my Instagram. Yeah. Because my, there's, uh, I mean, the what's your Instagram handle, Bloggy? I think it's blog.david. Blog.david. Is it blog? Bloggy dot David. I need, a, I need yeah, a new fucking fuck. Instagram. I need to change it. I changed it last night because I was like, because I realized that bloggy design meant that people would find that before the one I actually use. Yeah, yeah. we also both uh, have Motus in our bio at the moment and both also like, we yeah, change it now? And then we, we got a bit scared. Like, what are I, I don't want to change it yet. I'm not Giles Motus, I'm not Giles Star, I'm not Giles Visiv. I mean, mine just says I work Can you Motus, buy the so uh, handle Giles? The guy doesn't reply. Yeah, mine mine doesn't reply either. Like, I wonder if you just DM'd him and said, look, I'll, I'll pay you anything, but he might be like 20 grand. Yeah, well, I mean, like Stephen Bartlett has Stephen, but I reckon whoever he got that off, oh, he probably wow. just went, "Look, I'm a multi-millionaire." Like, wow. I mean, there's someone called just Bloggy. Yeah, just, that's the word, and it's got two followers. And I'm just gonna go. I've I've reported it to try <laughs> because my name is Bloggy, and therefore it's a uh, an identity thing. You could do to pretend to be me. Do that thing <laughs> where you like message. You get your fucking. You know, when Story used to like somebody would steal their video, and they'd be like go and call them a snake. And you get like a thousand people yeah. going like snake. I could just go like, go get Giles for me, but I'd feel bad. 
Yeah. What, what are you going to name it to? Just I don't know. Giles Campbell Longley. No. Giles Ecom. <laughs> No. Giles Ecom. Giles <laughs> Biz. Yeah. What stuff? What type of stuff will you be uploading? What my own personal Instagram? Mm. I don't know. I'd like to show some like back end of what we're doing with Stora and mm. more training and not too much Daisy and more Darwin and life. I don't know. Giles Biz. Probably the same. Giles Biz. Fuck so. <laughs> Hi, I'm an entrepreneur. Just do what I did. Unemployed. <laughs> what Keelan? Yeah, just Giles. There's somebody else who. Um, has a name that isn't Keelan, but they've got like the amount, same amount of ends as you. Really? That I saw like, oh, I think, then, is it? Yeah, I saw it like Rocco, pop yeah. up on the, the comment or something and I was that's like, I wonder funny. if that's inspired. I thought that was you the first time you started following me and I was like, oh, <laughs> oh no, it's, yeah. Will you, Giles, still collaborate with other athletes? No, I fucking hate people working with people. Um, I guess, <laughs> like, it, well, I guess there's two questions there. Is there gonna be any other sort of collaboration stuff we were doing with Motus in Stara? I kind of already answered that in a, potentially I don't know maybe in the future we'll see outside of Star like right now I have zero interest in focusing on anything else apart from what like wrapping our motors and doing what we do with Star and I don't think that's going to change for a little while but once that settles down then I think the, the thing that I would love for it to happen and right now it necessarily hasn't but it, you know in, in a year's time I wouldn't be unhappy if I was doing more personal filmmaking projects mm. Like, and if that means filming other athletes, like, you know, somebody's sick and I'm like, oh, let's go make a video, then cool. Because mm. uh, that's what I used to do a lot, so. That was fucking sick. But you I look think fucking sick. sick, dude. My eyes I think the thing is, as well is the work has just begun, <laughs> really. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean, like, this isn't like, ah, oh, relief, because we've, because it's, that's it. It's yeah, relief yeah, yeah, because yeah. now it's like, the work has just begun and. Uh, if anything, the, the workload is gonna increase. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, definitely. But it will just feel Which is like why we want to live in the woods so we can just switch off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Gonna stress over Christmas about this place. Oh mate. Moving in and oh, stuff. So oh. I'm already like Oh, have you just shown that I'm not wearing any pants? Yeah. <laughs> the curtain's falling. Go out. watch it or something. You, you can see Bloggy's the shoes. These are amazing. I'm quite jealous because my slippers don't have heels on the back, like they're just open on the Yeah. The but back. you can do that with these? Oh, I just get such cold feet. I want that full. Oh, if I have some money, I might get a pair for the other you house. Should. What are you doing with the warehouse? Are you open to turning it into a parkour gym? Yeah, it's fine. I'm actually just going to continue paying the rent on it. <laughs> Spend Build, loads of money building, building it into a parkour it, yeah. gym. And then uh, people are going to get the train to save worse than the train. Yeah. And do it silently because one thing that the landlord specifically said was no gyms. Yeah. yeah. He was literally like, yeah, somebody wanted to turn this into a gym. And we said no. I was like, ah, okay. We'll just build a parkour setup instead. Um, by the way, go copper. Ooh. Cop, uh, a farewell hoodie or a closed hoodie, which are selling like fucking hotcakes. Hotcakes. Kappa, kappa, hot cake. Um, there was something I just thought of and I've forgotten. I was thinking like if I owned this, let's say, or you know, just had shitloads of money, you just keep, yeah, this, this bit, you just keep it open, probably just turn it into like a sick multi area photo video studio. Mm. You'd have like, you I'll know. Just rent it out. Yeah, yeah, you turn it into a studio that people can come and uh, rent. I mean, we uh, literally had a lot of people say we should have done that. Yeah, location's obviously a factor. Location's quite good. It's just of. a bit far out. It's remote so you can focus on your project. But yeah, you could have like multiple corners and styling of like, oh, here's a lounge setup. Here's a duh, here's a, a clean white background. Here's a da 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 da. Be kind of cool. Mm. But, yeah, true. Um, yeah, the new office is def definitely going to be different, and I don't know if people will be able to see that much. Or yeah, I don't think it's going to be a sort of like as public. Yeah, um, it's also going to be much smaller, which will be. I think it'll be great because it's going to be cozy. We'll be in the same room. Which is quite it's nice. gonna it's really just going to be work, 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 work. But it's yeah, it's in a a big office block, and we'll probably have people because there's like a communal like break room, which I think is going to be quite funny. I'm just I thought about this the other day. I was like. If we go for lunch and like have a have lunch there, and someone's like, "Oh, what do you do?" and like, "Oh, we, we do this blah, blah 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 thing," and then we ask them, and they're like, "Oh yeah, yeah, I sell door handles, yeah. something like that," you know, and that's that's the whole business, which is which is like, if it works, it's great, but it's just like the contrast would be quite funny. Sorry if anyone can see my face right now. My, my suddenly my body is just like needing a horrendous poo. Nice. Um, sorry, I'm just now scrolling down the Instagram thing to see if there's any. There's any 470 comments on the post, which is just mind blowing. Like that's what Sorry. the fuck that sounded mental. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, I might actually have to just go and poo. So I don't know if you guys want to continue or if you want to wrap it up. But like, I, I feel really like I'm gonna. Else. I feel like I'm gonna have diarrhea. Well, I was just saying, really. <laughs> like, and if that's a way to end the last ever oh, podcast, perfect, <laughs> isn't it? Really? Like, yeah, it's a Sunday right now. The last half an hour, my body has just gone. What? Yeah. Well. The last episode wasn't like a fun drunken party one, but it no. was a nice sort of. But that would have been good. It might not be the last. Like I think if anything is going to continue, yeah. this will be the thing that doesn't. It doesn't feel like anything really. I mean, <laughs> is coming to a proper end. I think just because the internals of us three are still together. I kind of want to do thing. this, and you might be able to actually hear. You know, when your stomach goes. Yeah, do it. It's not happening right now, but give it a second. You continue speaking. Let's listen to the baby. <laughs> you continue speaking and it might, you might get a ball. Let's listen to the baby. I know what you mean though, yeah. Like, uh, it doesn't. <laughs> Charles has got the mic on his belly my, right my now. My mic is pointed at my belly waiting. What's the that? last thing you ate? Um, oh, wait, that. I had those noodles, but yesterday, Sarah went to get a haircut and it's next to the Domino's in Cranbrook. Uh, and she, she was like, do you want me to pick up lunch? And I was like, yeah. And she came back with a giant spicy pizza and I was like, okay. <laughs> so. Nice. Um, uh, do, like, not, I feel not, like I. Happen. You know when, like, someone dies and you're not sad. Oh god! And you're like every relative I've ever had. Yeah, and, and you're like, is that is that bad? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I kind of feel like that a bit because I, I don't have any. I just have a lot of gratitude yeah. towards what 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 we've done, but. Um, I suppose we all kind of feel the same. Yeah, we're in a very because different position to it. I think that's what. Yeah, makes and it I hope that no one thinks like, "Oh wow, like you what guys, dickheads." Just, yeah, what dickheads? Yeah. you know, like it's, you're getting bought out and you're just happy about that you're or whatever. But it's not. It's the, not like that. It would only feel like that, like you said earlier, if just one of us. Or if it, off. it the way I the way it would feel like that for me is if, like I said in the video yesterday, whenever it was, if it just had to end. Like, because, you know, I had to get a job in Tesco yeah. and I couldn't afford anything and it just had to end. And you guys, yeah, you guys got mm. screwed. Then the vibe, well, like we wouldn't be doing a fini f final podcast. No. I probably just fucking, I like it. Do you remember that time when I deleted everything on the Instagram? I just archived everything. Yeah. That was because we I spent, Devon then, weren't we? We were like, I spent like on. two days lying in bed, just being like, I think it's over. And we're just like, I don't we know. We thought it was over as well. When, yeah. we're, when we're in Devon, we were like, oh no. Yeah, <laughs> literally, it was because we didn't know. I was like, I've just started. And I don't know what's going on. I, I just fucking didn't know what to do, and I just like deleted everything. Not not because I was like, I'm never going to post again, but I was just like, I don't know. Almost like you just wanted to Clean do it or just something. Just do something, like yeah. have an effect, and like, and then you see people getting a bit spooked out, and you're like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what's going on. Like, <laughs> But yeah, if it had ended like that, then it would all just shut down. It would all disappear into silence. Do you keep hitting your head? head. Yeah. I hit my head so hard in the kitchen That's today savage. that it would bleed. Oh, man. Yeah. I've done oh, that. Not, not made it bleed, but I've, I know exactly that. that. corner. Yeah. It's fucking Smacked lethal. it, and then my head was cold for a while because it's just wet. Oh. So many head injuries recently. Yeah. Last night, smacked my head. This morning, smacked your head. Me and, me and Bloggy last night were doing, uh, we went to the skate park <laughs> where we live, and it was obviously covered in snow because we've got so snow sick. right now. And Bloggy stacked it quite hard, trying to jump into a ramp and slide on his feet. And so landed on like, and it was like working fine. Ice. Yeah, oh. it was working fine to be fair. I and hate then, how quickly you go when it's ice. Yeah, yeah. like but faster it was, than you know when it's just like all fun and games, and then something happens. You're like, oh, yeah. Is it serious? Is it bad? Oh. Yeah. Did a little check, and we're like, we're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've just broken my hand, and I was like, oh fuck, is my hand okay? Like shit. Oh, but it was fine. Mm. <laughs> anyway, do you want to do your ginormous shit? I think so. I, was, I think my stomach's going to do it. What is happening now? Um, everything today. What's happening for the rest of the day? The people don't need to know this, but I'm really curious. Am I, I am going to go home, see my daughter, uh -huh. I think. I mean, I'm going to sort some stuff out on my laptop, but yeah, I'm not planning on sticking around. Cool. Oh, that's good. Fuck and this you're place. going back home. I'm going back home. And then, you what, in the new year? Is this, is this it yeah. for Christmas? I think so. I think it's going to happen. Hold on. Because my... Uh, I can't do it. <laughs> Give it five seconds. No, it's gone. Um, it's those yeah, my, my brother's off school now. Oh and he was nice. asking when, when we were there the other Sorry, day, he was like, day, yeah. I'm off school now, are you coming back? I Computer like, games! Yeah. Um, um, and you're going when, Tuesday? Um, I have a doctor's <laughs> appointment. Oh, for fuck's sake, when's this? On Tuesday at 4 p.m. Oh, so what time's my meeting? <laughs> What um, are you are you coming back in the 
I might First be back in on Tuesday, but okay. I, I, is everything going to start properly moving in the new year then? Yeah, nothing is happening at all. Yeah, um, um, I can. Get so if anyone wants to break in, there'll be lots of expensive I gear. Don't actually, lots of expensive gear for you to take. No, we we're taking. We don't know how to use the alarm either. We're don't know. We leave it unlocked. You can take it. All Community gets all our Would gear. Would that benefit us? Just a massive insurance claim? No, because then if that happens, we'll then people, it. people think. Then we don't have to list everything. Please do our stuff. Everyone take our stuff. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna think we should go. Um, Losing the plot a bit. Yeah, I'll, we'll talk about your shit. Yes, after sorry. The, the podcast don't need to hear. Um, are you just gonna spam some buttons? Is that loser? Uh, oh. Well, that's it for most, isn't it? <laughs> crickets. Yeah, this is all actually a lie, and it, like we're, we're it's all just over, and we're not moving to Star or anything. So. Mm. All right. My mic stand is just absolutely failing on this last. Drag thing. this one on for an hour and forty minutes. Nice. Wow. Um, Sorry, it wasn't so structured. You made it to the end. Thank you. Yeah, use the discount code. Um, absolutely, fuck all on the website for fuck all off because mm. there's nothing left. Love you lots. <laughs> yeah, we stuck through till the end of Motus. I have to say, this doesn't feel like the last podcast I'll nah, be it doing. Really, we're still going to be. In the in part, everything or. else, everything else is over. But this, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I've been developing those skills. I need to do something with that. We'll see you next. Time. We'll see you next week. Bye. Love you. Bye. Oh, I got to go and do that.